Okay, the idea here is you need to remove the denominator. Now, there are two ways to do it. The first way is I copy this and then I write down. This one I times 7 times 7. So I will have 7 4y minus 1 Now question This side The denominator already no more How do I get rid of this denominator? Both side must times what? 5y plus 1 Now this method is slower But Seriously It will save your life now why do I say that? I see too many of you cross multiply and get into a lot of trouble. Okay, from here, very simple, you go and solve. Now I show you another one which is a cross multiply method. But it's a no, 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 not recommended. Because every time cross multiply, you will get into trouble. Alright, I write down the step. Wait, wait, let me finish this first. Okay. Now, the alternative method I want to go through is notes. Take the denominator, multiply over the equal sign. You get this. Take the denominator, multiply over the equal sign. You get this. But this is not a good method because because of this mistake. Because of this mistake, I see this mistake in common tests in mid year. 2 over 3 plus 4 over 7. What's the answer? Cross multiply. 12 plus 14. So, the idea is it must be equal, then you can cross. But this idea not easily absorbed by students. So, students see whatever fraction, they start crossing, crossing, crossing. Even multiply, they also go and cross multiply. So always use the first method, it's easier. And, and I force here. 